Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you oh, oh, pick me, pick me. how to draw Dory from Finding Nemo. So, let's get started. Welcome back, cartooners. Like I said, we're going to draw our favorite blue tang fish, Woo! Dory, from Finding Nemo. Oh, a little blue. So, let's dive right on in. You know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. So in drawing Dory, gotta remember that being a regal tang fish, she's shaped like this, essentially, right? And then she has this yellow tail, and she's got this dorsal fin that comes off here like so. But I mean, for the most part, this is how she's drawn, right? Well, that's less fun than giving it a little bit of personality. One piece of me? Yeah, yeah, ooh, I'm scared now. So we're going to begin by turning that shape a little bit so we can see more of her face. So we're just gonna take that shape that I just drew, but we're going to adjust it. Now, this may not be the perfect shape that we end off with, so we may play with this a little bit. But I'm also going to just sketch in the tail. Figure that her fins come from here. Her mouth is up in here. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's um, let's break her down. So her mouth is halfway down her head shape. And because she's a very narrow fish, we're going to bring her smile inward. We're gonna give her an open mouth smile. give her a laugh line here and we're going to open the mouth ever so slightly and remember that the shape remains the same we want to make sure that the upper lip and the bottom lip are roughly the same the same shape so let's bring yeah, let's see, that shape actually was pretty good. So we're gonna keep the shape. So now we have to go and break down where we're gonna put the eye. The eye, we gotta find the halfway point here, and the eye is going to rest on either side of that halfway point. We may add more body to the top here. Dory is full of wonder. Her eyes are nice and wide open. She has a, a high brow shape that rests very close to the eye once you get down here. The bridge of her nose comes in like this between the eyes. But now that second eye, these eyes jut out of the head. It's to give her more expression when she forgets things, when she has her epiphanies. It's more fun to play with a big, bright, wide eye than a small one over on the side like fish have. So let's give her, before we do anything, we're gonna give her her upper brow on this side as well. And then we're gonna dip down a little bit and then up. Yeah, I, I am wrong. The top part of her head is gonna come up a little bit. Don't worry about these lines. They're gonna disappear into the background. So now that we've got that in, let's give her the iris and the pupil to those eyes.
actually might want to bring this one closer to us. So she's looking toward us. So now that I get that in, let's Let's draw in the pupils. Nice and dark here. The light reflection there. All right, and I'm gonna shade in the iris. Oh, it's looking like her now. Okay. Now, Dory does have a tongue. There's her jawline or, or her chin. Don't forget the muscle here that goes out into the fin. And then the fin will be shaped like so. Let's see. And then we're going to follow through that fin and give her her line that goes all the way out to the end of her tail. Now we're gonna go from the rounded point here of the tail and we're going to give her her blue marking. Draw in the top of her head shape or a body shape. And if you'd like, you can color this in. Like I said, this is all black. And then she has this cool dorsal fin. She's got all these C curves here all the way up that dorsal fin. And if you look closely, each one of those actually comes to a bit of a point. But of course, we're forgetting that she has another fin over on this side. And with the drawing that I'm using for reference, it looks like she's waving. Now we got another part here that's optional. These very light freckly areas on her nose area. If you'd like, throw in some fiber here in the tail. And there you have it, guys. Feel free to add some bubbles. Maybe a hidden Mickey in those bubbles. It's so pretty. There's a very quick lesson on how to draw Dory from Finding Nemo. Now, don't you have a Dory moment? Remember to hit that thumbs up button. Remember to hit the subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when I post more videos. Please tell all your friends of the channel. Guys, thank you so much. And until next time, we'll see you later. Hi, that's incredible. Good on you, mate. <sighs> I'm glad I got that off my chest.